right now, emergency management crews up and down the Jersey Shore are preparing for the storm. Flooding and high winds are a big concern. Eyewitness News reporter David Spahn is live in Brigantine with the latest on conditions there. David. Hi, I'm standing at the seawall right now in Brigantine. The rain just started to pick up about 15 or 20 minutes ago. Other than that, a quiet night here in Brigantine, but crews are preparing for whatever happens tomorrow. In the dark of night, crews in Brigantine were on the beach, putting finishing touches on a plan to protect the city from potential flooding. The fire department has their personnel ready to go. My officers are ready. Public Works is ready. Chief Jim Bennett with Brigantine Police says his department and city are both ready for Friday's storm. He's also the head of emergency management here, and he's planning for mostly high wind and rising water. This is not going to be a Jonas or Sandy level event. Uh, even if we get you know major flooding, it's still not going to be to the level of either of those storms. But residents, including the chief, don't want to take any chances. Up and down the shore, including here in Stone Harbor, we found people with sandbags and other blockades to keep the water out. We do ask customers to prepare uh, for the possibility of outages. Crews with Atlantic City Electric are being as proactive as possible because they expect Friday to be a busy one. We have our crews on standby. We have 24-hour coverage uh, starting tomorrow morning throughout the weekend. Here in Brigantine, crews actually pumped sand to make more of a beach to keep that water away from streets and homes. I spoke to officials in some other shore towns. They have crews out tonight ready for tomorrow and into the weekend. Reporting live in Brigantine at the seawall, David Spunt, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, David, thank you.